Hey guys, I'm on a 2007 Jeep Wrangler and I've got the uh, D9S Pro hooked up and we're going to do a quick walkthrough to show the uh, actuation test and special functions that this scan tool has on this uh, vehicle. So I'm just going to hit auto scan. I need the vehicle. Of course, system selection is where you'd go to just manually pick what module you wanted to go into, but we're going to do an auto scan, and that way, once it scans all the modules, I'll know exactly what modules this Jeep has, and uh, we'll just click down through them. Okay, so... Uh, and if you're not familiar with the topology, if you're not sure what the acronym is for a particular module, you can just click it and it'll pop up and tell you what it is. In this case, Occument Classification Module. Uh, if you hit Diagnose, it takes you into that module. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click List, and that way I'll just start at the top and I'm going to work my way down. Now, on this scan tool, you can see that the uh, module with a code is at the very top. And that's one thing I like about this uh, scanner is any modules that have codes it puts up at the top that way you know if you have a, a, a vehicle that's got 20 plus modules you don't have to scan up and down to uh, see all the different modules with codes they'll all be up, up at the very top in this case we got the uh, central gateway module that has four codes we're going to go ahead and go into that by clicking diagnose uh, before i forget if you click the little down arrow it'll drop down uh, and show you the uh, codes that uh, that are in, in that module. But we're going to go ahead and click Diagnose, and we're just going to concentrate on the actuation test and special functions that this scan tool has on this particular vehicle. And I'll just let you go down through and read. Uh, you can pause the uh, video if you need to to be able to read the uh, all the different functions and tests. Now for the PCM actuation test. Special functions. And if you go over to system check, uh, there's some more stuff that uh, the scanner has on this vehicle. And now occupant restraint, special functions. Occupant cl classification, special functions. Wireless control, special functions. And under wireless control, you've also got a system check. Instrument cluster. Actuation test. Special functions. And we've got a system check. And I'll go back up to the uh, central gateway. I did not do the system check under the central gateway, so we're going to take a look at that too. Uh, no special functions or active test under radio system. Anti lock brakes. We'll go actuation test. Special functions. And that ABS in initialization will set the VIN and initialize a new ABS control module or a used one if you uh, get a used one off of a uh, salvage car, car uh, you'll be able to initialize that ABS module. I did a video on a 2012 uh, Patriot where I actually uh, did that so if you want to check that video out if you're going to have to change out an ABS module the, the scan tool will 
uh, get you all hooked up on that. Okay, nothing under steering angle sensor, so let's go back to the central gateway. And I'm just going to do this, the uh, system check. And that should cover everything on this particular vehicle. Now, the one thing that I do want to show you is if you want to check your IM readiness status, I get a lot of questions on where's the IM readiness at, but they can't never find it. Well, instead of doing auto scan, click the car, which is the big button under diagnostic. And where it says OBD2, you're going to click OBD2. Uh, I usually just do an auto scan if you know which uh, format or which protocol your car uses you can click that but i always do auto scan and you can see here that down here in the lower left you've got i am readiness uh, that's where you're going to get to your i am readiness you've also got your mode six in fact you've got all your obd2 generic data and information uh, right here so uh, that's how you get to that a lot of people ask you know where that's at took me a while to find it too and uh, Pretty much all the scan tools that I've had, that's generally what you've got to do to get to that. Anyway, that's about it. This was a 2007 Jeep Wrangler with the uh, D9S Pro. So, you guys take care. We'll see you in the next one.